To get to school each day I heard he performing or something. I need to find out. Party next door. Got a concert. I'm already going to Janae. And it's somebody else. Chris Brown. I want to go see Chris Brown. They go beat on you. They go beat on you. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I feel like I've been. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm her biggest fan. <laughs> oh my God. So Can I get your autograph? <laughs> I feel like I've been missing for a little bit, y'all. For real. But we back at it. Getting back on track. Getting myself together. So, this week... It's so crazy, y'all. I literally just said this week I'm starting hybrid training. Like, I love that type of conditioning and training and stuff. I've been watching so many people on YouTube. Just seeing so much stuff. Like, down my Instagram feed and all that. And I was like, I'm about to start. So, my plan was... Um, I'm still going to lift weights like normal, but two days out of the week. One day is going to be strictly long distance, like a hike, a long distance run, something like that. And then I'm going to have another day for just sprints and things like that. So, why this morning, me and my homeboy, we already talked about going to the gym. So, I was getting up, prepped to go to the gym, and now we're at Kennesaw Park. I mean, Kennesaw Mountain. Like, we're going to go hike, which is perfect. And mind you, I didn't even tell him I wanted to do hybrid training. He just woke up like... Let's go to the mountain. So that's so cool, y'all. I love when great minds think alike and everything click and work out. But yeah, as y'all saw, I done had my little morning jam session. Ate my breakfast. I'm feeling super good. I took my vitamins. I'm ready to start the day. I'm ready to start the day. The word of the day is productive. Like, I don't want to waste no time. None of that. I want to capitalize on all my resources and just grow. 1% better every day is the move and yeah, I'm locked in. So let's go hike. Before we go any further, I wanna give a shout out to Vita Authority for sponsoring today's video. They sent me over their detox supplement. This is a metabolism support and digestive aid that works to reduce bloating and improve gut health. All you have to do is mix one scoop with some water and drink it prior to eating. For faster results, do this twice a day before your largest meals. It's an all-natural product with no artificial dyes, caffeine, or gluten. It's also non-GMO and vegan-friendly. I purchased the flavor Pink Lemonade, and y'all, it's so good. It literally tastes just like juice. They do offer bundle deals and special perks with VIP memberships. This includes an endless 25% off discount code, early access to new products, 50% off of those new products, free gifts, and so much more. Use the link in my description box to become a VIP member and make your first purchase today. Halfway point check-in, feeling good. We've been recording this stuff, so we kind of been stopping a little bit. <laughs> My bad. You good, huh? <laughs> but yeah, literally just passed the halfway sign, so I'm gonna check in when we get to the top. We 
made it to the top. I keep being bit, y'all, and I'm all itchy. I can't. But, yeah. Check the view. Shit. Feeling good, looking good. My people out here. It's a good day. Great day. How you doing? Shotty done took off. Put her ass down, they tired. She gone though. Y'all probably didn't even see that shit. She was getting it, bro. She was gone. 20 miles per hour. Like a cheetah of some sort. Hey y'all. We just got the crunch. Y'all know what time it is. We finna put this work in. She's talking about you know what time. For real? I get so excited when I get to the gym. Like, yeah, this is my happy place. Um, He said he want to do full body. It's really supposed to be my back and bicep day. So we're going to see what we end up doing. But, yeah, it's going to be one of those. And, yeah, I'm going to get some content for y'all. I got to get my other tripod. But, yeah, I'm going to see y'all inside. Two day trial before I take back my time and make you pay. Thirty day trial before I make my mind that it's always trials and tribulations. Child, child, child. Kissing in Paris, I guess we could do it in French. Wow. Eating low main is child for now. Child, child. She got me wildin' now. Rory Italian, child for now. Child, child. She making that ass shake, breaking that bait till the back break. Wow, yeah, yeah. Crazy how you managed to make me into a sponsor. You got me paying for shit. You got a two day trial before I take back my time and make you pay. Thirty day trial before I make my mind and it's always trials and tribulations. Child, child, child. She don't want hard marks, she want a max, and I'm inclined. Face card valid, no, I never press it. You got a two day trial before I take back my time and make you pay. Thirty day trial before I made my mind and it's always trials and tribulations.
checking in. Workout went so great. I am currently wiping my face. I um I bought some of these because letting the sweat sit on me after the gym be making me break out. So we trying something new, wiping off my face after I get done until I get home and I can actually like wash my face and stuff. But yeah, I give the workout. It was a decent workout. I was a little bit tired from us going to the mountain, but it's okay. We made it through. We made it through. And we was a little pressed for time because my friend got to go to work. I'm about to head home. So I'm going to see y'all when I get to the house. All right, I'm back. I'm clean. I just took my shower. And now I'm getting ready to make my lunch and also go ahead and take out what I'm going to um, make for dinner. So... For lunch, I meal prepped some Cajun shrimp pasta this week with veggies. So yeah, I'm gonna heat that up in a second, but first I'm gonna go ahead and take out my chicken. I wanted to do baked chicken, rice, and cabbage, but it's looking like I might do baked chicken, potatoes, and green beans. All right, this my chicken. I had separated it. It's drums and thighs. And I had already like washed them and separated them before I froze them, so they're in their own zip bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit these in some water. So yeah, we're gonna let that sit for a little bit. So what I did is I weighed my pasta out before, like when I cooked it. So I already have it in my notes of how much it is. And then I'm just, just gonna weigh out my veggies right now before I warm it up. So. Yeah, y'all, I love my food scale. This is a regular little food scale I got right off Amazon. And it's been doing so good. I have no issues with it. Yes, I love it. I want a bigger one, but we're gonna work our way up. We're gonna work our way up. Okay, let me warm this up and I'm gonna track it. My recipe. So see, on my fitness pal, you can make your own recipes. And my pasta is one of them that I just did. So about to add it. It's a total of 440 calories. It's 29 grams of protein, 68 grams of carbs, and six and a half grams of fat which i feel like that's kind of high for carbs but it be busting and it's low fat so i don't even really care and i be needing my carbs to keep me energized throughout the day and have the extra fuel i be trying to like get most of my carbs in for breakfast but it just don't seem to really work like that i kind of eat carbs a lot breakfast and lunch sometimes dinner too i'm trying to like wean them out of my dinners but it be hard like a protein and a veggie for dinner is so boring. Like, no, I want some bread. I want some potatoes. I want some rice. I want something. <laughs> but what I would say is I decrease my portion for dinner so I'm not eating too many carbs before bed. So we have that. My veggies, that was 151 grams. Um, what's that brand called? I always forget. I think it's called Bird's Eye. And all that pasta that I, I mean, not pasta. The, um... Veggies that I just put on there, they're only 58 calories for that portion I had. 1.9 grams of protein, 9.7 grams of carbs, and no fats. Love that. So right now for total, my lunch is at 498 calories. My breakfast is only 450, which is pretty low. And then from all the exercise and I just did, my calorie count kind of increased for the day. I had that Oikos yogurt, so that's another like 110 grams. I mean, 110 calories. So... I still have 840 left, which is a pretty good amount, I feel like, because my dinner is probably going to be a little more higher in calories, and um, that still leaves me room to have another, like, p.m. snack in between, like, if I get hungry before I finish cooking or after I eat dinner if I'm a little hungry before I go to bed. So, um, I really want to start intermittent fasting, so, like, after 8 p.m., I don't eat anymore, but lately, I have not been doing it. Like, last night, I didn't get back from the gym till like, 11 o'clock, y'all. I had a protein shake at almost 12 o'clock. 
So it just be kind of, mm, I don't know. But I'm trying to get into that. I really think that would help me a lot with my um, cut. So, and I remember like vividly back in high school, my weight training coach told me if I could stop eating after like 6, 6.30 p.m. And I'm like, bro, dang, 6, 6.30, that's crazy. Like that's kind of early, at least like 7. But I don't know. I'm thinking about trying it out. So that's another goal we add into the list. And um, I still haven't bought my scale. So the last time I got, the last time I weighed myself, I was at 160. Um, I'm not sure how accurate that is for real. And yeah, I need to go back to the scale on campus, but that's a whole another scenario that I'm about to tell y'all about when I sit down with my food. Ooh. I think I'm gonna eat outside. It's so pretty. Put this under this hot. This is what I'm having for lunch, you guys. I'm telling you, if you don't already make your pastas from scratch, ditch that freaking pre made Alfredo sauce and make your sauce from scratch. And I tell you, it's so good. Like, that is the best adjustment I ever made. All right, y'all, I just had to come sit outside and eat. Just enjoy nature, the fresh air, like all of that. But while I eat, I just want to give y'all a little life update. Like, I feel like I ain't vlogged in a little minute. <laughs> like, my vlogs that I'm going to be posting, they're low-key. At least my next one, it's way behind my real life. So, I just feel like a lot has been happening. And, yeah, I just want to catch y'all up on what's going on with me. Oh, hold on, let me take a look. This pasta is so good. But first thing first, I've really been locking in with nutrition and building a healthier body. My cut is still going good. I've been eating super clean for the most part. <clears throat> Everything's going good. Um I actually just got put onto this place called Heroes Nutrition in Ackworth that my friend works for. And I'm trying to get affiliated as well. Y'all, this tea that I got yesterday is so good. It's called a Miami Vice. I think it has like strawberry, pina colada. And then it has like a lot of little supplements and stuff like a powder in it for mental focus and collagen. They have all types of stuff that you can add to your drink and spice it up however you want. Like if you want something with a little caffeine or like a little energy booster you can get that it is in Ackworth Georgia so if you're near that area or it's very much worth taking a trip to I'm just so grateful that he put me on today and I'm definitely about to use that to help me reach my body goals what else um, my workouts have been great I'm not ready to switch it up because I like what I've been doing but like I said I do want to get into the hybrid training just to help me really get right like I feel like that's gonna help me a lot on my cut and tone up like I want and lose this extra body fat. So I'm gonna incorporate that because me, my hardest thing that I'm the least disciplined with is cardio. Alright. It's so difficult. Cardio is not just running, like there's so much stuff you can do. You just have to find what works for you and stay with it. So that's what I'm doing. One more thing that I really want to implement in my life, y'all. I wanna start juicing. I watch Phil Kofer love him down that's one of my favorite youtubers if you ever need an extra push more motivation or anything like that like if you're just not feeling like yourself or you just need uh -oh, something or someone to get you going go watch him like his videos are so good he juices and stuff he eats super clean like he lives a really healthy lifestyle and that's very motivational for me it's just that right now I do live in a shared apartment, you know, a shared student apartment. So I'm just trying to be mindful because I feel like already with like meal prepping and all the stuff I have, my blender for my shakes, my the whole nine, like everything that I have in here, I take up a lot of space and I don't want to feel like I don't want to overcrowd the kitchen and stuff. You know, being that I have three other roommates, I live in a four by four layout right now. So I'm just thinking about it. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. And then also being that the juices, I heard that they... They don't last very long. You have to drink them as soon as you make them too. And I know I'm not really good with that. Because even with like protein shakes, I'd be wasting them. But I feel like it's a different vibe. So maybe it'll be a little better for me. I don't know. But I do want to try it out, y'all. I want to try it out. So I'm thinking about getting me maybe a small one that I can like store somewhere that don't take up too much space. Other than that, the only other thing going on in my life right now with school. Oh, well, my job. 
first of all let's tap into that a little bit i love my new job like they be working me child like woo. but it'd be worth it though and then i've been doing really good about meal prepping when i go to work and stuff too so that's been good it hasn't really been affecting my schedule too much so i'm really still in my routine it's just like my times of when i do things are a little different now and then school with school i have made the decision to become a fully online student so you guys will still get college life con um, content and stuff until I'm finished, but it may just look a little different now. I'm a little bit more versatile. I have a little more time on my hands to do other things. And it's not like going to class is going to be taking up hours out of my day for real. Like I can really make my own schedule for real now and kind of maneuver how I want. So I'm super excited about that too. I'm taking two summer classes. They start in about like two more weeks. So, I'm really trying to just enjoy this little break. I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, I would love to hear about what's going on in you guys' life if y'all don't mind. Leave stuff in the comments. Like, let me know. Get away. Like, dang. Drop something in the comments. Talk to me. Engage with me. Let me know how y'all life is going. Just give me like... Just give me something that you guys are focusing on right now. What's something that's your main focus? Whether that be a gym goal, um, um, like mental health goal, like bettering your mindset, whether that be whatever. Like, talk to me in the comments. Let me know what are y'all working towards right now. I would love to hear it. But in the meantime, you guys, I'm about to eat. I don't want to do any mindless scrolling, so I'm probably going to put on a podcast while I eat. Or I'm about to put something on YouTube, watch something motivational. My camera is also about to run out of storage, so... I'm about to clear out some videos too and i'm gonna see you guys after i finish eating i really don't know what i'm gonna do next i don't know if i want to do bible study i don't know if i just want to read a little bit and do some journaling we're gonna see but i still got the whole rest of my day it's only 2 46 going on three o'clock and yeah <laughs> i'll see y'all in a minute hi you guys i'm back so i was just taking care of some business i washed dishes all of that i'm about to go ahead and pick some of these dishes up real quick and go ahead and start cooking it is only like 4 23 and i was gonna sit and do some journaling reading and bible study before i cook but i'm actually gonna do it the other way around i'm gonna go ahead and start the food because i don't want to be up super late cooking i do have to go to work tomorrow so i want to go ahead and get everything cooked go ahead and meal prep get with this cooking process y'all done see me cook so many times so i'm honestly about to just put my music on and vibe for a little bit and just let y'all still watch of course but maybe that new party next door call my name sit back relax kick your feet up and enjoy the vibe finally done cooking i've cleaned up everything squared away here's my food we got chicken roasted potatoes and some green beans y'all i'm ready to smash it's gonna be so good but tell me why tell me why the dishwasher is broke y'all so i'm gonna get on my laptop and 
put in a maintenance request. Hopefully they come like first thing tomorrow morning. Hopefully they might still come tonight. Well, I don't know. It's probably not happening tonight though. It's just after, like it's almost seven o'clock and I doubt they're coming tonight. But I'm gonna, excuse me, put in this maintenance request. Let me put y'all over here actually. Let's see how this looks. This is too much light. Like, let's close that. That's a little better. Anyways, yeah. The dishwasher is broke, y'all. Gotta put in a request. Hopefully they hurry up and come fix it ASAP. But that's really it for today, y'all. Like, I'm really not doing nothing else. Um, I do need to edit. I got another video to edit. And then I'm also about to read my book and do Bible study. As far as my Bible study, I am still in Matthew, y'all. I've been slacking just a little bit. So, yeah, I'm still in Matthew, but I'm almost done. I think I'm on, like, 24, 25. I think there's 28 chapters in Matthew, so I'm almost done. But I have been reading The Four Agreements, y'all. My coworker gave me this book, and I'm only, like, one chapter in. Maybe two. Let me see. No, I'm almost on chapter two. I'm going to really dive in, suck up some new knowledge. I've heard this book is really good. So big on personal growth right now. So, yeah. Gonna definitely finish reading this. My hair looks so crazy, y'all. I just feel like I look so crazy, but this is real raw, uncut. Like, whatever. I'm probably not gonna read while I eat. I'm about to watch more YouTube while I eat. <laughs> I'm gonna finish um, Cranin and Swole's little vlog on his page. And then after that, I'm about to read my book, do my Bible study. Well, put that maintenance request in first. Then read my book, do my Bible study, um, eat. And that's really it for today, y'all. I think I'm gonna go take another shower just because I feel like I was getting a little sweaty, a little hot while I was cooking. I had stuff splashing on me, raw meat, water, all type of, yeah. I'm gonna go take a shower before I get back in my bed. But this is really it, you guys. I do have to work tomorrow and I wanna be up early so that I can make breakfast and everything like that. I think I work from 10 to six. That's all day. <laughs> so I need to make sure I have my snacks packed, my breakfast ready, make sure my lunch is ready for... Once again, y'all go shop with Vita Authority. I'm going to have everything linked in my description box, you guys. And make sure you go check that out. And keep moving forward. Keep going. And working towards those gym goals, body goals, life goals, personal goals, everything, y'all. Keep going. The motto I go by is 1% better every day. Like, as long as you get up and you try and you put forth some effort to get better, better is going to come. But if you keep falling victim to those old cycles and making yourself have to relearn the lessons that god's been putting in your face you know that's on you but this is a year of elevation growth separation and it's time to go after what you want become that person that you want to be and stop letting distractions and anything else hold you back like word rule well little um, piece of wisdom like life is literally about mindset if you put your mind to it you can do it and nobody can tell me different Nobody can tell me different. And these books that I've been reading, they're really, really, really showing me that. They're really helping me learn how to control my mind and just live a more peaceful life. And, y'all, I've been so happy lately. Like, life is just going so great. I'm doing great in the gym, great all around. Like, everything's just so good right now. I'm so blessed and grateful. Um, I just had a quick moment of prayer before I even got back on the camera just to thank God because it's just such a blessing, like, just when you really start focusing in on the little things and realizing like how much you have it's just so like i have so much to be grateful for and i'm sure a lot of us do like we have so much to be grateful for and yeah that's all i've been locked in on showing gratitude being positive and just taking things one step at a time allowing god to be in control and i'm just trying to hear him trying to see the signs and be a better me each and every day so, you know, I got to leave y'all with some motivation before I end the video. But, yeah. Like I always tell y'all, if no one else got faith in y'all, if no one else believe in y'all, Aaliyah G does. Like, I love y'all. And I want to see everybody be successful. I want to see everybody be great. I want to see everybody achieve their goals. And, you know, I'm right here alongside y'all, working, grinding, doing the best I can. So, we're all in this together. Keep going. Yeah. Keep going and don't let nothing or no one stop you or hold you back. This is your life and you only get one, so let's make the most of it. And really go after what you want. Like regardless of who got faith in you, regardless of who don't, regardless of any of that, go after what you want and be great. 
but that's all I got for y'all today. <laughs> Auntie is tired. Like, I'm really ready to get in my bed, but I still got a few more things I want to do. So, I'm going to be productive and get right. I'm going to be productive and finish that out. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really hope y'all enjoyed. I'm going to keep you guys updated on my hybrid training, on my cut, on all of that. Like, my whole fitness journey, I'm going to be sharing it with y'all and allowing y'all to see my growth. And, yeah, I really just thank y'all so much for all the encouragement, all the nice compliments and all of that. I'm really grateful. And, yes, we finally hit 1K, y'all, so we on the road to 2K. We're going to take it 1,000 at a time. <laughs> the ultimate goal is 100K, period. But, yes, we on the road to 2K. Thank you guys so, so, so much. I love y'all bunches. And I will see you guys in my next video.